Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today the video is going to be super exciting because I haven't posted a video in a very, very, very long time. And um, I just thought I would come on here, do a get ready with me for Sephora or for work chit chatty, get ready with me sort of video to kind of put you up to speed on <laughs> where I've been. But before I make this intro super, super long, um, let's hop into it. But first, if you're new here, hey, what's up? Hello, I'm Kiana. Welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as that bell icon to stay notified on whenever I upload my videos. If you're not new, welcome back. Let's get into it. Let go. Focus. Let's go. Whew. Welcome to today's Get Ready With Me. I literally just woke up like 20 minutes ago. But, yeah, um, I haven't filmed the video in super, 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 super long time, so I'm really excited to be back, to be filming, um, this, just this get ready with me for a typical day at Sephora, so that'll be pretty much what I'm doing, is I'm just gonna show you just my everyday kind of makeup look that I do at Sephora, I don't really do the same thing all the time, but I'll just show you something that's sort of glam and just really appropriate for Sephora. I already have my brows on, Avi. So I'm gonna go with my Smashbox 24 Hour Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff is amazeballs. Like, I am obsessed with it. This is also gonna be like an update on where I've been because, as you can obviously tell, I've been MIA for the past freaking ever. Like, literally, like, where have I been? I have been living under a rock. I haven't filmed a video in forever. But essentially, where I've been. Um, I got full time at Sephora, so all my, literally my whole entire life has been dedicated to working at Sephora and just kind of trying to get into the rhythm of things. I'm going to go with my Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette from MAC. Um, probably tip, don't wear MAC eyeshadow at Sephora. They will ask you for dupes, but anyways, like I was saying, I have been dedicating all my lifetime energy into my job lately and I was just kind of really contemplating do I want to film videos still is this really what I want to do and I was just really on the fence about everything because I'm like is this the career path I want to take is this really what I truly honestly want to do no but I've been just dedicating all my time life and energy into Sephora again really contemplating if I wanted to do YouTube and Yada yada yada, but then I saw that, you know, I saw people that watch my videos and who are subscribing to my channel and I feel really bad if I just kind of abandoned you guys. So I actually went out and I bought a new camera. That's what I'm using today. Out of nowhere, I was like, time for a new camera. So I bought the Canon T5i. I was just like, you know, it works. Um, but I was just like, you know, nope, time for new videos. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of videos I want to film. I know I want to do makeup related, but I'm just like... Do I want tutorials or start a series? So just let me let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you want to see, and I will totally start filming videos. Um, I have a few days off a week, so I can definitely find time to really just sit down and film a video, sit down and edit. Um, so I've went in with this one, and I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more just depth and definition to the eye. This palette. Ugh, the shadows are absolutely stunning, like, ugh, I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to take this, just on a Morphe, this is the M513. Place this just right in my outer corner to provide that depth and definition to the eye. I'm just going to slowly start blending that in the crease. I've been doing, like, a lot of prepping and training for taking the next step that I want to take with the company. Um, which is senior artist and then eventually pro artist. If you don't know what a senior artist is, it's such an elevated mem like cast member that can, you know, like... I'm pretty much just... We're up there. Oh, oh, brush is going everywhere. Yeah, I help elevate other cast members and it's just like... It's a good time. We do a lot of traveling. There's a lot of like senior artists like conventions and whatever. So... That's the next step, and the pro artist is my end goal, or kind of like my dream destination with the company. 
because essentially with senior artists, there's only, I think, like 16 of them in all of North America. I'm gonna go with like this darker shade in the outer corner. Add a little bit more on top. Just for more depth. Not a whole lot, because I don't want it to be super dark. But just enough. Now I'm just gonna go in with this kind of, this shade right here. Like this bronzy sort of gold. Absolutely gorgeous. All over the lid. I'm gonna go with my Sephora collection. This is literally my favorite black eyeliner at the moment. Is the 12 hour um, waterproof contouring eye pencil. Just in black velvet. This stuff is like hella black. Hella pigmented. Creamy. Blendable. Doesn't transfer. Doesn't smudge. But it's a super opaque opaque like black it's black liner i'm gonna take my flirt lashes from sephora collection these are freaking beautiful like i'm honestly super obsessed with these but i'm just going in with some glue on the lash band not a whole lot using house of lashes lash glue if you have never used house of lashes lash glue you honestly have to it's so good Like, look at them lashes. They're, like, super kind of soft, but still kind of dramatic and full. That's like, they're a great everyday lash. I'm going to go with my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. This primer is absolutely great because it helps smooth out my skin. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's great. Like, honestly, it's, it's okay. It's pretty good. Um, but it smooths out my skin. It's going to really make a nice base to work off of. It'll help blur everything out, help correct skin tone, even out complexion. I have been obsessed with this guy, Estee Lauder Double Wear. This stuff is freaking phenomenal. If you are not using Estee Lauder Double Wear, it's literally like, where have you been? Because this stuff just gives a beautiful flawless complexion like it looks so freaking good on the skin the temperature in the store like it sh changes like it's literally cold in the back room it's hot on stage or on the floor and it's just like there's no in between so like i need a foundation that's going to be long wearing that can kind of adapt to different like climates or temperature changes and this stuff does that beautifully. And again, since it's so long wearing, I can get through my full nine hour shift. And my face will still look bomb -ith. And I feel like by hour six, I'm getting a little bit shiny, but I'm someone who is excessively oily. So it's kind of expected for me almost. But honestly, for my YouTube channel, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Because I don't want to film videos you don't want to see, but I also don't want to film videos that I don't want to do. So I'm trying to find, like, that happy medium for everybody. Um, just let me know because, like, I want to do tutorials, but I don't know what kind of looks I want to do. Um, follow me on my Snapchat and, of course, my Instagram. There I post looks that I don't film tutorials for, and I feel like some people want to see tutorials for looks I've done. Now for my under eye concealer, or just my concealer in general. MAC Pro Longwear in the shade NC15. You know or you don't know because I have never used this concealer on my channel. Or at least have it in a really long time. I have to make sure I can get some out of here. I know there's some left in here. I know there's lots left in here. So I don't know why my concealer is trying to play me. So I'm just going to take this, the inner corners, on the outside of my nose. Down over here. You know, just where people typically apply concealer pretty much everywhere where I want some highlight and brightening and coverage then I just take of course like if you haven't guessed by now beauty blender to blend all of this beautiful lovely concealer out and foundation now I'm gonna go in with my wet n wild this is the mega glow contouring palette um this is just in I think Dolce de Leche if I'm not mistaken I don't know I'm just gonna take the highlighting powder from it just like the, it's like almost like a light peachy light. I don't know what color it is, to be honest with you. 
I'm just going to take this on the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush. Saturate my brush. And just go ahead and tap this underneath the eyes to really fully set it. I go in with lots of this stuff to make sure my concealer is nice and set. There's going to be no creasing, nothing at all. This is going to give, like, honestly, just a nice under eye highlight. And it's kind of like a quick alternative to baking the skin. And I apply this wherever I apply my MAC concealer. Go in with this powder. And I apply it everywhere. So... Forehead, under the eyes, chin, nose, jawline, again, pretty much everywhere. Uh, what else should I be talking about? Um, boys. Um, there's nothing really, like, new. Um, I, I feel like that, I kind of want to keep, like, my relationship life kind of personal to myself. I'm not really one to want to advertise or exploit, or I don't think exploit is the right word, but I really don't want to promote, or I don't know what word I'm looking for, but I really don't want my relationship life to be public, because I've seen some YouTubers make their relationship public, even I've made my relationship public, and when I broke up with my most recent boyfriend, everyone, I saw people who don't, like, they're like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. like, they still, like, ask about him, and it's like, and we still talk, and we're still friends, and we're still, like, very amicable. Is that the right word? We're still very friendly with one another, and we still care about one another. We're still there for one another. We're just 1,600 kilometers away from one another. That's why. Things didn't work out. Ooh, the label has literally rubbed right off on this brush. This is a Morphe, just an angled contouring brush. But I'm not with anyone and I'm quite happy. Some people they'll be like, I need a relationship, which I thought I really did. I thought that was like what I needed. I'm like, I need to be in a relationship. I can't be alone, no, 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 no. But I'm like, no, I need to be by myself. Like I really just can't be bothered with anybody. These I've been obsessed with. So. The rest of my cheek products are actually going to be, I think, from the drugstore. So, like, my cheek kind of product routine I've been obsessed with. It's drugstore. It's kind of wallet-friendly. Not really, because it's still, I'd say, the brands, like, Physicians for Me L'Oreal still have, like, a higher price tag. But I've been obsessed with my Happy Booster, gl like, my glowing bronzing heart pearls, whatever you want to call them. It's, like, bronzing hearts. These are so beautiful. They give my skin the most beautiful, perfect glow that anyone, anyone, anyone could ever ask for. I'm just gonna go with my Makeup Forever 122 straight and wavy kind of stippling brush and just swirl my brush around in these pearls, pick up some product and bronze the skin. Gonna make me look a little bit more tan. Whenever I use these, I get really nice compliments from people. They're like, oh my goodness, your tan looks absolutely beautiful. You look glowing. You look like you've gotten color. I'm like, nope. Just bronzed. Now I'm gonna go in with a Milani blush. This is just the baked blush in Dulce Pink. Let's see. Just this guy right here. Definitely I'd say a cult classic or cult favorite. Just gonna take a Morphe M406 stippling brush. Just pick up some of this product. I'm gonna swirl this onto my cheeks. This just gives me a nice little bit of like, of a coral flush. Which definitely adds more warmth to my skin, which is definitely what I'm all about. I like to have color. Because everyone likes to have color. Highlighter I'm going to use today is from L'Oreal. It's the True Match Lumi Highlighter. Um, my friend gave me this. And she's like, I don't like it. Um, like, I'll take it. I'm just going to take a nice, like, fluffy fan brush. And just apply a generous layer to my cheeks. Just to give myself some nice glow. I also like to apply it like tip of my nose, keep its bone chin. Just to get some fluidity to the skin. And to finish it all up, I'm just gonna go with a neutral lippy. This is a Too Faced Belted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Sell Out. I'm obsessed with this color. This is like one of my favorites. Um, it pulls different colors on different people. 
for me, eh, sorry, feels more of like a orangey kind of color. So this is just the end of my get ready with me video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm super happy to be back. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to stay notified on whenever I upload and post my videos. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Show me some love. Show me that you like this video. And don't forget to hit me up on my social media. It's Kiana Karen's XO on literally everything or Kiana underscore Karen's. All my social media links will be linked down to, down below. I have a Twitter, an Instagram, a blog, a Snapchat, a Facebook, pretty much whatever. Um, feel free to add me on everything. Super active on Instagram, ATM, especially on my more blog-ish kind of personal account. So check me out on that. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Love you.